In concept two, letter D, we're now dealing with a slightly different notation. If you look at it carefully, you'll realize that the number that they're giving us, the one over seven, is not inside the parentheses. When numbers were inside the parentheses, that meant they got plugged into the function. When the number's outside the parentheses, that means they're basically giving us the answer. So they want to know, if the answer to f of x comes out to be one seventh, what did they have to plug in? There are a few different ways you could go, try to think backwards and solve this. Some people just try to plug in numbers and sort of guess and check until they find the answer, and other people prefer to solve it algebraically. If you prefer to solve algebraically, the easiest way to do it is to think this. 3 over x plus 4, whatever that is, has to equal a final answer of 1 over 7. So we're basically just making an equation to solve. If you remember from geometry, you might have seen some of these kind of fraction equals fraction type equations, and the easiest way to solve them is by cross multiplying. X, my, er, x plus 4 on the bottom times 1 on the top is x plus 4. And that equals what we get from multiplying in the other direction. 3 times 7 comes out to be 21. If we just solve that equation by subtracting 4 on both sides, we get x equals 17. And sure enough, 17 must have been the x we needed to pick. You can always plug in just to check. 3 over 17 plus 4, that would be 3 over 21, and sure enough, that reduces to 1 over 7, which was exactly where they wanted us to start. So this idea of setting the function equal to the number and solving it like an equation is exactly what we're going to do anytime they don't give us the number inside, but they do give us the answer outside.